Imagine a silent dawn. No birdsong. No rising sun. Just an eerie stillness in the air. You step outside, but something feels off. The shadows haven't moved. The breeze is gone. Then it hits you. The earth has stopped spinning. As absurd as it sounds, this hypothetical scenario is more than a sci-fi concept. The Earth's rotation plays a fundamental role in the survival of every ecosystem, climate pattern, and even in the biological rhythms of your body. Without it, life would collapse in ways you can't imagine, from violent natural disasters to deep space exposure. In this video, we'll break down what would actually happen if our planet suddenly, or even gradually, stopped rotating. The Earth has been spinning since it formed over 4.5 billion years ago. This rotation began as a result of the angular momentum from the collapsing cloud of gas and dust that created the solar system. That spin hasn't stopped, yet, and it keeps everything from the atmosphere to the oceans in constant motion. Earth spins at roughly 1,670 km per hour, 1,037 miles per hour, at the equator creating a 24-hour day-slash-night cycle. This rotation causes phenomena like Coriolis forces, which influence ocean currents and wind patterns, and helps maintain the shape of Earth as an oblate spheroid, slightly flattened at the poles and bulged at the equator. Our biological clocks are also synced with this rotation. The circadian rhythm, which controls sleep, hormone production, and cognitive function, relies heavily on the predictable pattern of light and dark. Without Earth spin, these systems would destabilize, affecting everything from health to agriculture. Additionally, the spin generates centrifugal force, which slightly counteracts gravity at the equator. This subtle effect is critical in the balance of fluid bodies on Earth, including how oceans are distributed. Stop the spin, and the oceans start to migrate in dangerous ways. There's also the issue of the magnetic field. Although mainly driven by Earth's molten core, the planet's rotation contributes to the dynamo effect, responsible for shielding us from deadly solar radiation. Halting the spin could disrupt this magnetic armor, exposing the surface to cosmic hazards. Astronomers have observed celestial bodies like Mercury and Venus, which rotate extremely slowly or barely at all. These planets have extreme temperature differences between day and night sides, and their environments are nothing short of hostile clues as to what Earth could become. In theory, Earth's rotation is slowing down, but at a pace of milliseconds per century. A sudden stop is physically impossible by natural forces, but if it did happen, it would unleash energy on a scale rivaling a planetary collision. A doomsday scenario, unfolding in moments. Now that we understand the science of Earth spin, let's imagine what would happen in the first minutes after the world comes to a standstill. The moment the Earth stops spinning, Everything not firmly anchored to the bedrock would continue moving at its original speed, 1,670 km per hour, due to inertia. Imagine entire cities, oceans, and even the atmosphere being flung eastward with catastrophic force. Skyscrapers would crumble. Vehicles would be launched like missiles. The surface of the Earth would become an apocalyptic wasteland in seconds. This global inertia would cause windstorms unlike anything we've ever seen. The atmosphere, which was previously moving in sync with the Earth's rotation, would now slam against the stationary surface, generating supersonic winds. These gusts would tear apart buildings, uproot forests, and scour the ground like a giant sandblaster. No structure could survive unscathed. Next, the oceans would surge. With no centrifugal force to balance their distribution, water would begin to migrate toward the poles. Coastal cities would initially experience massive tsunamis from the sudden jolt, but soon, much of the equatorial regions would begin to dry out. In contrast, the polar regions would flood, creating new, frozen oceans where none existed before. The sudden halt would also cause massive earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The tectonic plates, no longer experiencing the stabilizing gyroscopic effect of earth spin, would shift erratically. Fault lines would rupture. Volcanoes dormant for centuries might awaken. Even the crust of the earth could deform under new stress, unleashing years of geological chaos. Meanwhile, the sun would freeze in the sky. Depending on where you are on the planet, it would either be stuck directly overhead, 
permanently on the horizon or not visible at all. Time would effectively stop, no more sunsets, sunrises, or day-night cycles. The human concept of time, so closely tied to the Earth's rotation, would become meaningless overnight. Weather systems would go haywire. Jet streams, trade winds, and ocean currents, normally driven by rotation, would collapse. Without these patterns, storms would stall over regions, flooding or baking them relentlessly. The global climate would begin its transformation into an unrecognizable monster. In the days following the stop, communication and power grids would fail. Satellites, which rely on Earth's rotational reference, would lose synchronization. GPS would become useless. Space debris might fall to Earth as orbital dynamics shift. Transportation, logistics, and global supply chains would break down completely. But this is only the beginning. As the initial chaos settles, a new kind of destruction begins, a slow, inescapable shift in climate and survivability that will change the Earth forever. Once the initial devastation settles, the Earth begins its slow descent into a planet of extreme climates. Without rotation, the Earth no longer has a 24-hour day-night cycle. Instead, one side of the planet faces the sun permanently, while the other is cast in eternal darkness. The balance that supported life is gone. On the day side, constant sunlight causes temperatures to skyrocket. Deserts expand, oceans evaporate, and the atmosphere becomes superheated. Without the Coriolis effect to circulate winds, heat doesn't spread evenly. The equator becomes a zone of lethal heat, too hot for water, plants, or humans to survive. Vegetation dies. Soil turns to dust. It's a scorched wasteland. On the night side, the opposite unfolds. With no sunlight, temperatures drop well below freezing. Oceans begin to freeze from the surface down, and eventually even the atmosphere starts to condense. Carbon dioxide and water vapor could fall as frost or even snow, thickening into layers over centuries. Life ceases in the cold. Between these two extremes lies a thin twilight zone, the so-called Terminator Line, where day and night meet. In this narrow belt, conditions might remain somewhat tolerable, at least initially. Temperatures would be lower, and there would be a faint, constant glow from the sun just peeking over the horizon. This thin strip could become Earth's last habitable region. Weather patterns, once predictable, collapse into chaotic extremes. The lack of rotation means there's no Coriolis effect to steer air masses or form jet streams. Storms grow in place instead of moving. Floods linger for weeks. Droughts don't end. The Earth's atmosphere becomes a stagnant, suffocating soup in some areas, and razor-sharp cold in others. Rainfall would be localized and unpredictable. Deserts form in unexpected places. Tropical zones cease to exist. The global water cycle breaks down, further affecting agriculture and freshwater availability. Crops fail. Animals migrate, but many can't adapt. Ecosystems collapse. The ocean currents, too, come to a stop. With no spinning earth to drive them, the thermohaline circulation, a global conveyor belt that regulates climate, is lost. This causes ocean stagnation, increasing the chances of oxygen-depleted dead zones where marine life suffocates. Coral reefs bleach and die. Fisheries collapse. Over time, Earth may begin to resemble a tidally locked exoplanet, with a bright, uninhabitable day side, a frozen dark side, and a fragile twilight region where life hangs by a thread. Even there, resources would be scarce, and survival would depend on advanced technology and extreme adaptation. When the Earth stops spinning, its gravitational forces shift dramatically. Normally, centrifugal force from Earth's rotation slightly counteracts gravity, particularly at the equator, making you weigh just a bit less there than at the poles. With no rotation, this force vanishes. Gravity feels stronger, especially in equatorial regions. This change wouldn't crush you, but it would strain buildings, bridges, and infrastructure, most of which were engineered with current gravitational norms in mind. Everything becomes slightly heavier. Equipment calibrated for weight-based mechanics, like elevators or cranes, would malfunction. Structural failures would increase, adding another layer to the ongoing chaos. More dramatically, 
the shape of the Earth itself would change. Our planet is not a perfect sphere, it bulges at the equator due to its rotation. Once the spin stops, gravity pulls everything inward, slowly reshaping Earth into a more spherical form. This causes the redistribution of water and tectonic stress, further flooding the poles and increasing seismic activity globally. Tectonic plates, previously stabilized by the Earth's gyroscopic momentum, would shift more violently. Earthquakes would become more frequent and intense. Entire landmasses might slowly reposition over millennia. Continental drift would speed up unnaturally. The geological map of the Earth could transform within generations. Meanwhile, Earth's magnetic field begins to collapse. The field is primarily driven by the dynamo effect, the motion of molten iron in the outer core. Earth's rotation plays a key role in maintaining this motion. Without rotation, the internal fluid dynamics begin to slow and destabilize, leading to magnetic field decay. This magnetic field shields us from harmful cosmic radiation and solar winds. As it weakens, Earth becomes vulnerable to high-energy particles from space. Satellites would fail. Communication systems would crash. More alarmingly, increased radiation at the surface could raise cancer rates and disrupt electronic devices, making technology unreliable or unusable. We might also experience magnetic pole reversals or wanderings as the field destabilizes. These events, already poorly understood, would confuse migratory animals, disrupt navigation systems, and cause electrical surges. Airports, power grids, and even digital networks would be crippled, cutting humanity off from global coordination. The night sky would also look different. With no rotation, the stars would no longer arc across the heavens. Instead, you'd see the same stars locked in place, depending on your location. Astronomy would change forever, and navigation by the stars, once a staple of human exploration, would become obsolete. After the dust settles, literally and figuratively, the biggest question remains, could humans adapt and survive on a planet that no longer spins? The answer isn't simple. While the immediate aftermath would be catastrophic, pockets of humanity might endure, but survival would require radical transformation and technology. The key to survival lies along the twilight zone, that narrow band between the scorching day side and the frozen night side. In this region, temperatures could remain within livable ranges. But even here, resources would be scarce. Agriculture would be nearly impossible without consistent weather, rainfall, or seasons. Food scarcity would become a daily challenge. Communities would need to go underground or build shielded habitats, using geothermal energy or nuclear power for warmth and electricity. Advanced hydroponics and vertical farming might provide food. Water harvesting systems would need to recycle and purify with extreme efficiency. Cities as we know them would vanish, replaced by fortress-like survival colonies. Technology would be our greatest ally and our greatest liability. With failing satellites, disrupted magnetic fields, and constant solar radiation, electronics and communication networks would need shielding and redundancy. Global cooperation would collapse, so survival would likely depend on localized innovation and independence. Politically and socially, humanity might revert to smaller, isolated communities. Without a global infrastructure, the old order of nations and economies would break down. A new civilization would have to rise, more resilient, decentralized, and intimately connected to the harsh environment it inhabits. Culturally, the impact would be profound. Concepts of time, seasons, even language around day and night would change. Calendars would become obsolete. Religious beliefs tied to celestial cycles could shift or disappear. A new worldview, one shaped by the ever-frozen sun or eternal darkness, would emerge, redefining human identity. Genetic adaptation might eventually play a role. Over generations, humans living on the hot side might evolve heat resistance, while those on the cold side adapt to freezing conditions. More likely, technological augmentation, such as climate-controlled suits or genetically modified crops, would be necessary to bridge the gap between biology and environment. Ultimately, yes, some form of humanity could survive. But it wouldn't be the world we know. It would be a world of constant struggle, relentless adaptation, 
and deep humility in the face of nature's raw power. Perhaps, in that struggle, we'd find new meaning. Proof that even when the world stops turning, the human spirit can keep moving forward.